Hi, my name is Steven Slumbo. Sochi Technical Courage. Welcome to a continuation of discussion on the measurement of construction works. Last time we were looking at uh, the use of dimension paper, but now today we are going to look at the basic calculation of the perimeter of uh, uh, the building, the basic uh, calculation of the girth of the building so we are going to look at um, how we can use the dimension paper how do we transfer uh, the dimensions from the drawing to the dimension paper if at all there is any waste calculation how do we go about it so that's what we are will be looking at today now we have this simple plan it's a very basic uh, plan which is um, it's not a cavity wall but uh, it's just a, a solid wall uh, measuring 12,000 by 7,000 uh, uh, millimeters and the wall thickness is 230 millimeters and also the height is uh, 2,500 millimeters so we want to determine what will be the total length of this wall of course we know from our previous um uh, maybe calibration the perimeter whenever we are, we are working out the perimeter especially for the arithmetic you only consider because it's just one line you only consider adding this where you say l plus b then the result that is the sum times the uh the times two but um in this case uh, we are not going to approach it like that so what we are going to do is we are going to consider for example this is a wall and that is a wall the length is 700 and that's 700 so if we look at uh, another wall as it is uh, you see that this wall is ending there where this uh, wall passes so we have that we have also that so as you can see that uh, the length the actual length is equivalent to the internal dimension of this uh, plan that is for us to determine the uh, the length of this plan we have to subtract that thickness and that thickness then we have one one then we have uh, one uh, twelve thousand uh, minus 230 minus 230 on that side the same would apply to that so at the end of the day it's like we are subtracting uh, four thicknesses uh, of uh, the walls to come up with the actual so my intention to show this is that um, you can take uh, this and then you connect it there okay so that you have a total length which is a uh, uh, 14 uh, thousand millimeters and then you take that reduced to you connect on top of another so you see that um, the dimension will keep on increasing so that's our instance of uh, having this discussion now to use the dimension paper you you, you have um, uh, the we have this length and that's breadth so we can build our dimensions systematically that is we have the length and then the uh, the breadth but if you want you can as well write there you can have the length and then the breadth so adding these two will give us 19,000 then we multiply by two to find the total because we have two that are uh, two breaths and they also have two lengths of, um, of, of of the plan so to find the total length if we are using the external dimension is going to be 19 times 2 which gives us 38 thousand millimeters um so these calculations that we are doing are known as the waste calculations and normally the waste calculations are done or maybe they are written closer to the margin the far end margin of the description column because i know by now you know uh, the names of these uh, columns that is the time seeing dimension and then you have the squaring then finally the uh, description column so those are the columns that we have and now for us to make the adjustments like I was saying if we use the external dimensions then we'll be measuring some of the thicknesses twice as you can see on the diagram you can see that uh, if we are to use 12,000 and also 7,000 there then that portion would have been measured 
twice and also that portion twice. So at the end of the day, you have four portions that would have been measured uh, twice. So to avoid that redundancy, that's why you have to do the adjustments. So in this case, we have these uh, four areas where the redundancy is uh, happening. So of uh, 230 as uh, thickness. So you multiply four times uh, 230 is giving us 920 millimeters. And now you subtracting, we have 3780. So the other thing that you need to note if you are working out in meters on this side, you need to correct your uh, working uh, the figures to two decimal uh, to three decimal places so it has to be three to three decimal places but when you are transferring the dimensions to the dimension column then they have to be corrected to two uh, decimal places that's how it works so once you have built the dimensions then you transfer these dimensions to uh, the dimension column that is uh, 30. Now this becomes, if we uh, convert this to meters, it's supposed to be 37.080. So since it has to be uh, corrected to two decimal places, then you we'll have 37.08 as our, um, our dimension. And uh, we also had uh, the height. This is the height. Uh, that's the height as uh, 2,500 millimeters and this two has to be converted to meters you divide by 1,000 to convert you divide uh, 25 uh, 2,500 by 1,000 to convert this to uh, uh, meters and uh, now that's what we have 2.50 as our meters and uh, you can square this you say this times that then the answer is right written besides these two dimensions that's uh, how we work out that is uh, in the squaring column but then um whenever you have this dimension they have to you have to have a description to say what are these dimensions for so to uh, determine the description of course we are doing the brickwork we are assuming that our, our wall is uh, made of uh, is constructed of bricks and um, then you need to convert. Uh, that is a uh, where you do not have experience. You don't know how you can go about it, describing uh, whatever that you're supposed to describe. Then you can um, you can prepare. Uh, you can do the taking off alongside with the SMM7. SMM7. So this page is an extract from the SMM7. It is a uh, page 55 where uh, you have the masonry so masonry you have brickwork block uh, walling and also you have uh, uh, the glass block walling and uh, in the table you have that portion which it says what is supposed to be provided on the drawing and again there you have the measurement rule of course we say the classification of tables so you have uh, the measurement rules and then the definition rules and also the coverage rules and then you have the supplementary rules in fact for the measurement rules whenever you are measuring like in our case we are using the center line or the drawing that's why we had to do some adjustments otherwise if we are using the external external dimensions then the adjustments wouldn't have been um, now necessary so like the measurement rules you have the m1 is giving us an idea how we can uh, conduct our measurement uh, that is a uh, uh, brickwork and blockwork unless otherwise stated are measured on the center line or the material so that rule uh, gives us a basis for measuring any brickwork or blockwork um, um, any blockwork that we might have been given otherwise without using a standard book like the standard method of measurement then we may have the numbers or we may have the quantities uh, with which have got very big variations now in order for us to have uniform results of uh, taking off or measurement then we have to use smm7 of course now it has been replaced by nrm that's uh, the us book that uh, we can use but then um, for the purpose of this lesson or for the purpose of our lessons that we are will be conducting we'll be using the smm7 uh, until that time when it comes so then we may change to uh, the new uh, the, the, the new RM uh, book. 
and uh, in this column where you have the definition rules like uh, you have um, uh, now they are uh, they are telling us that uh, you have the uh, thickness stated is the nominal so if you state the thickness in the description that has to be the uh, nominal thicknesses unless otherwise defined so for this uh, the nominal refers to the approximate or rough cut dimension it's just an approximate uh, normally when you are buying uh, timber you say two by four uh, sometimes it's not exactly two by four but you find that uh, maybe it's at least maybe uh, some dimensions uh, greater uh, some dimensions maybe bigger than uh, the one that we normally use or slightly lower uh, than what we use for uh, buying so uh, on this you still have the definition law first work is any work in the bricks or blocks uh, finished fair and also that is whenever you have something to do with face work so any terminology that has been uh, maybe mentioned here it has to be defined unless maybe if you, um, it's obvious that uh, everybody should know it but where you you where uh, maybe there's bound to be some confusions then uh, that has to be uh, defined like in this case when we are saying was so for the walls, it's supposed to be vertical unless otherwise stated, then uh, we may uh, take it the way it has been stated. And the coverage rules, so when we are saying coverage rules, brickwork and uh, block work are deemed to include extra materials for curved work uh, or rough and fair cutting, uh, raking out the joints to form a key, labors in eaves filling, labors in return ending, and also angel, in, in the angles and also centering so all those um, activities the work activities have to be taken into account whenever you are pricing the brick work you don't have after you have priced this then you say ah, now I'll, I'll also charge the labor for e filling or I'll also charge uh, the labor returns in the end and angles or maybe i'll charge you uh, for forming rough and fair cast groves throats or chases then in that way will be defeating the purpose now to avoid that then you need to take into account that uh, you are going to perform all these activities whenever you are estimating the break week. and um since we are looking at the walls in the classification table we are looking at the walls so this is our wall is one and there for the wall we need to state the thickness in our description and um also the wall is deemed to be vertical in this case and also wall is a superficial item as you can see this is uh, the units in and uh, the units under which we are going to measure uh, the wall so it's a superficial item and uh, whether this is going to be built against uh, against other work or bonding to other work or whatever you, you then you consider to say what will be the nature of building this wall and um, then in this classification table of course i'm taking some a little bit more time that we can understand what is happening here in the in the this where we have walls isolated uh, piles and uh, isolated casings chimney stacks all those um, uh, items uh, we have whenever we are looking at the measurement rules we have relevance to this m5 which is a uh, uh, building against other uh, work or maybe bonding to other material so so we have that which will be uh, relevant to this and also for definition rules whenever you are saying battering walls are uh, sloping walls with uh, a parallel uh, with parallel sides and the uh, tapering walls are the walls of diminishing thickness so we have some terminologies which uh, they have been said here like battering vertical tapering, uh, tapering and also tapering both sides so uh, they are defining what uh, that is meant by uh, tapering so for the coverage rules uh, the extent to which you are, you are supposed to measure this so brickwork and block work bonded to one another material is deemed to include extra material for bonding so whenever you are bonding you need to include that that's the extent of our measurement but when we are looking at the p1 that's the information provided you have that one 
and then you have for these other so it means that on the drawings you need to have something like this that is um of course uh whenever you are stating it you state uh the kind uh quality of bricks or blocks that you are going to use and the type of bond and uh, so that will be in the notes and also a composition of the mix of mortar and the type of pointing so pointing if it is a, a superstructure and also the uh, method of cutting where uh, we are not at the discretion of the contractor so that has to be uh, stated as well so this will assist the quantity surveyor whenever you are giving the description it means that you need to state the thickness of the wall whether it's one brick wall half brick wall one and a half brick wall you state the thickness and also for this information supplemental information that needs to be supplied uh, under the description you also state the kind quality and size of the bricks or blocks that you are going to use so in this case we need to specify the kind quality and size of the bricks that we are going to use and also the type of bond how are we going to bond the bricks or how are the bricks going to be arranged is this the english bond fresher bond flemish bond any other bond that uh, we may feel at the end of the day will look attractive or maybe it will be stronger uh, as opposed to, uh, in as far as uh, our construction is concerned and also uh, composition of mix of mortar so for the mix of mortar uh, what materials are you going to use and what will be the mix uh, the mix proportion is it one to four is it one to eight is it one to ten or is it uh, maybe one to five so you state maybe if it is one to five then you say cement mortar mix meaning that uh, one part of uh, cement mixed with uh, uh, five parts of uh, um, mortar that's one to five and then uh, if it is a uh, the uh, superstructure uh, then you also state the, because you you cannot say anything about pointing when it is used as the foundation uh, block work but for the uh, superstructure then you need to state the uh, the type of point uh, pointing whether it's, it's going to be the weather struck or whether it's going to be grooved and other uh, pointing that we we have so that has to be specified so let's go back to our description so you could see that uh, on the description we've said one brick wall that is the thickness of the wall okay the thickness of the wall one brick wall which is a uh, uh, two thirty millimeters or two uh, to fifteen millimeters so in common bricks so this common bricks are the types of bricks that we are using now uh, you can use engineering bricks you can use these common bricks so for the common bricks are not attractive and um, as, as sometimes they are not as strong as engineering brick and the size that's uh, 2.5 to 215 times 102.5 times 65 millimeter that is uh this is the size of bricks and in stretcher bond so in stretcher bond that is how the bricks are going to be arranged so we are saying in stretcher bond or we say running bond so that's uh, the bond and then in uh, one to four cement sand mortar mix that's how you can say it so in that way uh, you, you can as well use the shorthand for this instead of writing maybe brick you say brk as long as uh, uh as long as other people who are going to read whatever you have written they shouldn't be able to understand that and maybe if you are a student it's, 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 it's safer maybe to write the way it is now as it is so that's uh, actually how we come up with the description in fact as for today we were just looking at a simple uh, solid wall uh, taking off but then the next lesson will be looking at a cavity, a simple cavity wall taking off. Uh, probably maybe we'll be also looking at taking out the footing, taking out the um, uh, the, the brick walling and uh, the DPM, DPC, slab. All those uh, areas will be considered whenever we'll be looking at uh, the next the next type of uh, a wall. But as for today, I believe this has been, uh, um, th this is okay. Uh, maybe where you have problems you can forward them to me and see how we can go about it 
thanks for this uh, thanks for um, uh, listening and also thanks for paying attention till we meet next time goodbye <laughs>